You're listening to Something to Talk About with Big John, Kinsley Keys, and Billy Ray. Coming, Coming to you live from Cosmic Deli in downtown Laurel at Salmon Square Mall. Mall. This, this show, show is fueled, fueled by Central Sunbelt Federal, Federal Credit, Credit Union and Law Office System. And Billy Ray, welcome uh, to the show today, buddy. Of, of course, we're not uh, in downtown Laurel uh, there at the Cosmic Deli. Uh, but I can tell you this. Uh, I talked to Mitchell earlier today, and uh, he has a surf and turf special going on today. Uh, but tomorrow, um, he has a uh, seafood gumbo that he's uh, cooking up. So it should be really good. So you guys ought to go by there and uh eat with Mitchell uh, over there at Cosmic Deli and try some cheesecake. Uh, Billy Ray, what's going on? Well, not too much. Just doing a little bit of work today. What's still going on with you? Man, I tell you what, uh, you know, schoolwork is uh, in the thick of things right now. And uh already had to, to write an essay uh, earlier and uh, going to have to write a lesson plan tomorrow. But uh, other than that, things are good. Well, when you get spring break, do you get a spring break on online classes? Well, I tell you what, uh, the, the teacher messaged me the other day and she said, uh, now you guys can go ahead and finish up all your work, uh, this week. So next week you can have spring break. So I guess, uh, we do have, uh, uh, spring break in online classes at, uh, the university of Mississippi. Okay. I did not realize that. I didn't know, I didn't know how that worked. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I mean, uh, that's that. But, uh, you know, everything else is good, and uh, we're having a, a, a good time today talking sports. And uh, if it sounds like uh, Billy Ray's not on a microphone, you guessed that he's not. Uh, we're actually broadcasting from our home. So, uh, thankfully, the Internet has made that possible. Isn't that right, Billy Ray? Yeah, you're over there in, I guess, what, what you call that, so-so area? Yeah, I, I guess you not, could, not exactly so so. Yeah, well, not exactly so so. I guess you could call it the outskirts of so so. And I'm over here in Laurel, so you know, not too far. But hey, it's all good. Um, uh, so uh, you know, magic of technology, we can still get the show on there. There you go. So it's all good, you know. Um, and you know, looking around the sports world, um, and, and I guess we can talk about. Uh, the great job done by the West Jones Lady Mustangs. Um, they're going to be competing in the 5A state championship tomorrow uh, against, La- uh, not Laurel, but uh, Hattiesburg. And so, yeah, the Hattiesburg High Tigers. The Hattiesburg High Lady Tigers and the late West Jones Lady Mustangs um, at the big house tomorrow. So that's an interesting matchup. Um, you know, uh, yeah. yeah. If you, anybody wants to watch that game, I believe WDAM bounce seven point three whatever on your TV. You can watch those games live. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Anybody interested in watching the game? I think it's on WDAM on the bounce TV part of their channel. Yes, that is correct. Bounce will be carrying those games, and so. Um, Of course, I'm a direct, uh, well, not direct, but dish TV customer, so I won't get to watch those, but you know. That's all I You know, that's okay. Um, But, uh, you know, that's the way it is sometimes. But uh, I'm sure our buddy uh, James Pugh uh, over at uh, the Impact, uh, the uh, Sports 601, will have the game covered for us uh, on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. There's thousands awesome. of other ways you can keep up with the game. Twitter will have updates or, you know. Absolutely. So that's that. Um, also, uh, we've got some great baseball matchups uh, tomorrow. Uh, Billy Ray, I-, I can tell you um, locally. South yeah, jo- Big John, uh, yeah. district play starts this week, believe it or not. I mean, baseball season just started. We're already starting district play. Well, you know, I, I remember a few years ago they they wanted to to do something about uh, um, the length of the baseball season, and so they they shortened up the district uh, or the non district play, um, you know, to where teams wouldn't play 
20 lower uh, classification teams and in, in, in five academies, you know, but for some mm-hmm. reason they, they still try to fit those lower classification and five academies on there. But anyway, uh, yeah, you got to you gotta get your games in. You got to get some bat practice. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You got to get those, uh, those batting averages up to play in those smaller schools. So, so the daddies will be, uh, fine with you. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. But you know how that goes. Uh, and of course, district what district play playing starting up this week. Each team in the district usually they 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 break the divisions up to like there's about four yeah. teams in each district now. And it's not like in football where it's like five or six, seven. They break it down. Each team will be playing each other three times, so they'll be playing each other back to back, and then one more game later on in a few weeks. That is correct. So. um you know, starting off, we have uh, two local games. Well, three local games uh, in all uh, four. Ca- uh, well, three county schools and in, in the city school. Laurel, of course, will be uh, playing tomorrow. And down in Ellisville, I'll be uh, taking in South Jones and Wayne County. Now, that's kind of gotten to be a little side. Uh, I guess you could say rival game. Um, with uh, Jordan Rogers and, and Ian Sharp, you know, uh, Coach Sharp was a pitching coach and assistant head coach uh, under Coach Rogers there at South Jones for for a while, um, and then he left to take the head coaching job at uh, Wayne County, and has really done a great job over there. Um, of course, uh, the Braves uh, ha- have had a tough go of it uh, this this season, but they played some mighty tough competition, Billy Ray. And, uh, yeah, South Jones has stepped up in competition. They play Gulfport and a few other teams. You're absolutely right. And so, um, that should help them along the way, uh, you know, getting ready for playoffs and, uh, and, and this, uh, tough league right here. And so, um, I'm thinking, uh, you know, with the competition, I, I don't know much, um, about Wayne County. I haven't seen them. I know they they lost to Northeast Jones two to nothing in the season opener, uh, but um, they should. I think uh, South Jones should compete with uh, Wayne County, and I think uh, it's going to be a close one, probably a two to three run game. But I think South Jones wins. Well, in District Five, Class Five A, there's four teams: there's South, West, Wayne County, and Laurel. With, with three teams make the playoffs, I think Southwest and Wayne County all make the playoffs. South Jones will win the first game tomorrow night. I believe they're probably going to throw Max Sharp on the mound. He was their ace pitcher last year. Haven't seen South Jones play yet this year. I have seen Wayne County play. I broadcasted their first game against Northeast Jones. Northeast Jones did win that game 2 nothing at the West Jones Classic, but that was the first game of the year. A few weeks ago, so maybe South, maybe Wayne County has improved to them. Like I said, I haven't seen them since then, but I, I'm going to take South Jones to win this game probably by, by a score of eight to three. Okay, that's a that's not a bad um, prediction there. So uh, tell us about the game you're going to be at, and uh, tell us about Northeast Jones because I know you've seen them this year. Yeah, I have seen. I'll be broadcasting the Northeast Jones Quitman game tomorrow night on. SuperTalkLaurel.com started around seven o'clock with the game time, but it's going to be the region five class four A opener for both teams. Quitman is struggling this year. East is really good. They got a good outfielder. They got a good pitching staff. So I think they will win this game tomorrow. Uh, they I, I covered their last game last weekend when they played uh, North Forest. And they hit the ball really well against them. They were pretty much outmanned North Forest. They kind of 10 run rolled them 14 to nothing. So I think North East should win this game by, by a score of 7 to 2. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good score. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to give it to the Tigers as well. I think they win about probably 9 to 3, something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, so, uh, mm-hmm. you know. I think and we still got one more game. We got West Jones and Laurel. They're playing. And West Jones, I covered their game Monday night, and they defeated Forest County AHS by ten nothing in six innings. West Jones has got some good players. It's usually pretty good in baseball. And I think if you go out to West Jones Laurel game, don't look to stay long. I think that game will go 
five innings max. It's going to be ten nothing. West Jones game's over. Yeah, I, I think you're right there. Um, I think uh, West Jones is going to, you know, not allow many runs, if, if any. Um, I think West Jones is going to uh, is going to hand it to them. I, I think they call the dogs out off probably after they score about fourteen runs. I would say. Now I could be wrong. Well, you did. You you were watching the South Jefferson Davis County game Monday night while I was doing the West Jones Forest County game. Both of them got ten run ruled. How are you? Are you in favor of this mercy rule? I am because it gets the games over with, and it's, some of these teams are not very good. Baseball is a game that go on forever. So are you you in favor of the mercy rule? I presume, huh? Yeah, you know I am a favor of the mercy rule. Um, I think it's a, a good thing to have, um, especially when one team's a juggernaut and the other one is not so good. Um, because I, I think athletics, uh, are a good thing. However, when you start beating a team 20 to one, 20 to two, you know, I don't think that's really good for a kid's, um, you know, self-esteem. And I think, uh, it's just getting a little ridiculous at that point. Yeah. When games get that far out of hand, players will lose interest and they're likely to get hurt. That's exactly right. So. You guys be sure to go and, and check out um, those great uh, high school games. Uh, well, maybe two great, maybe one not so great. But and if you, I hate to interrupt you again, but if you are a baseball fan, weather permitting, I know it's supposed to rain Saturday, but Northeast Jones is going to have baseball games all day long. You got tournament. You got some kind of tournament. It's not really a tournament, but it's a, Bunch of games going on Northeast Jones, West, South, East are all out there. Taylor's is going to be out there. And it, it runs all day long, weather permitting. So that's, right. that's coming up Saturday. Yes, I think it's called the the the, North, the Northeast Jones Spring Break Classic or something like that. They've been having that. Like that. Yeah, they've been having that since I was uh, there at school. So uh, you know, I think it's time for a break. Uh, but uh, check these sponsors out and. Uh, be sure to go by and uh, say hello to them and, and check out some of their products and uh, food. So uh, we'll be back uh, after these words from our sponsors. Thanks for listening. At Central Sunbelt, you can bank on your own time with 24-hour ATM deposits. Deposit cash at any Central Sunbelt branch ATM. Any time of day, any day of the week. And receive quick access to your funds within the hour. Check, Check deposits, deposits are processed, processed hourly, hourly during, during our extended, extended member, member service, service hours. hours. Try, Try today, today by, by selecting, selecting Mixed, mixed media, media Deposit at your, at your local, local Central Sunbelt Sun ATM. ATM. Some, Some limitations, limitations apply. apply. For more For information, information, visit sunbeltfcu.org. The Chef and KK's Lowell's newest bakery, located at 1519 Bush Dairy Road across from Mississippi AG. Shabby Chic Cake specializes in some of the best baked goods around the free state. You should try some of the cupcakes. They also offer some cool cake decorating classes for everyone. So why not give Ashley a call at 601-433-7999 for your next party and get together or church social. Take it from us, they know their sweets. Tell them you heard about them on Something to Talk About. Hub City Madness is about making people aware for the various forms of rock music that has lived and made in our great city of Hattiesburg. Mississippi is the birthplace of rock and roll, and we need to act accordingly. Hub City Madness takes place at the Thirsty Hippo in downtown Hattiesburg on Saturday, March 24th at 6 p.m. and Sunday, March 25th at 4 p.m. We will have 20 bands, and they're all from Hattiesburg. The bands are as follows. Flipside Radio, Stella Tone, Under Orbit, Mississippi Shakedown, Piss Fist, Electric Witch, Elder, Pleather, Florida Men, The Squid and the Whale, Brother Joshua and the Quickness, By a Thread, Year of the Vulture, Cicadas, Cloud Wars, Eye Jamming, Judy and the... 